One day, I was chatting with my friends on Hangouts. I was talking to one of my friends named David until I got a text from my friend Jackson. He was freaking out over something. He was freaking out over someone named Carter knowing his information. Jackson's text said, Guys, Carter has my fucking address. It's real. Carl then texted it, what? I then replied, no, because that bastard Carter knows his information. Carl was then freaking out as well. He replied, oh my god. But then Jackson said, my phone number too. Me and David were freaking out as well. Carl then texted it, what the fuck? Wait, what? If a nine-year-old bastard knows his address, then how the fuck did he get his number? I didn't know why. Jackson then said, Holy fuck. This is bad. Me, Carl, and David were freaking out too. That's not good, said Carl. Turkey was then freaking out too. He was freaking out as well. Turkey then tried to get Ian to respond. We tried to get Ian to join, but he was too busy. We tried it again until Jackson cried out. He has my address and my phone number. Me and David were immediately shocked at this, and so was Carl. Carl showed up in the call. We all know we hate Carter, right? Anyways, my friends in the call were worried. Will Jackson survive? Or get meat? Because Jackson said this in the text. It said I have two pistols. So if he comes to my house, it's time for him die. Ian then said, I will kill him if he comes to my house. Lorenzo then said, he a bitch. Suddenly Jackson texted that he sees a car. Jackson then said, I think it's Carter. He then texted that he sees Carter getting out of the car. We were then freaking out over Carter being an intruder to Jackson and invading his property. Ian then screamed, Call us. Somebody start a call. He shouted. Jackson then texted that he sees Carter with a AK-47. Wait a minute. How can a nine-year-old use a weapon? Nine-year-olds don't use weapons. Anyway, Jackson texted that he hears Carter yelling, Pat! And, Jackson, come out, come out, wherever you are! Jackson said he's screaming for him to come out. I told Jackson to hide in his bed and pretend that you're not home. Why the fuck is Carter doing this? I don't know. But then, Jackson sees Carter going back to his car. He was then driving off. Jackson said he's leaving. Then, we calm down. I hope that the disaster ended, it hadn't. So after Carter left, Jackson was in the call with us. We were talking about on how to kill Carter and torture him in a sick, twisted way. Bob Berger said, Carter is a savage. Like what kind of nine-year-old steals information and does this kind of crap? Jackson said, he tried to get my IP, but failed. But for real he has my fucking address. Bob Berger was still shaking by these words he's hearing. After talking to one of my butt buddies, I decided to take a break. But then, something terrible happened. It happened again. Jackson was freaking out about his Yautzen channel. He was saying that his channel got hacked. We were shocked by this, and so was David and I. Jackson doesn't know who hacked him. I was then freaking out about it. I decided to check his channel for proof. But, it turns out his original channel was not hacked. The videos on his channel were still there. You know, Carter trying to make Ian and Jackson look bad by making him posters and stuff, right? Well, that happened. Oh, well. At least I kicked Carter out of the group. Anyway, Jackson sent us a video saying they made a special premiere. But it wasn't Jackson premiering it, it was the hacker. Hacker Cracker, which I was beginning to call it. But then, Lorenzo then said that the hacker deleted Jackson's videos. I was immediately shocked about this and that the videos were gone. David wanted to see the proof. So Lorenzo posted a photo of the proof. He said that the only video he has. But then Carl posted a video as well. He posted a video of the premiere. He said he has proof. David then said, I hate hackers. And I said that hackers needs to stop. Now you might be thinking when I'm going to watch that video. Well, I'll explain it to you after the story. Anyway, after the hacker got out of Jackson's channel, Jackson finally made it back to his channel like a rabbit named Hocus Pocus out of Professor Hinkle's hat from Frosty the Snowman. We were so relieved the disaster had ended. 
but we had to celebrate that Jackson finally made it back to his channel, and this is how we chose to do it. Scooter and me! After Jackson bidded us goodnight, I bidded my friends and David goodnight as well. After we said our goodnights and goodbyes, I went to sleep. August 1st, 2020. It was the first day of August, which means... Going back to school season! Yeah I know, going to school sucks. But not only that, the Halloween season is coming. Which I can't wait. And Christmas too. But boy, it sure was a scary day yesterday. At least Jackson survived the disaster. Jackson said that Carter almost tried to shoot him, but missed by a mile. But then Jackson said that he hide under his bed like what I said. Well, he finally knew my idea. But yesterday was a scary day for Jackson. Jackson almost got killed by Carter and Jackson got hacked. But, lucky for Jackson, he downloaded the video that the hacker made. So I decided to watch the video now. The video began with static for 5 seconds, it then cut to the Universal logo but being glitched out. Then, the static came back on again until it showed a black screen. Only thing I heard was a lower pitched voice. It said something about that Jackson's channel sucks and that this is his channel now. All of a sudden, the screen went to static again for 5 seconds until the deep voice said that the videos of Jackson's will be deleted and that the new videos will be replaced. Then, it went to static again. Then it switched to a kid dancing with balloons while a low-pitched version of Celebrate by Cool and the game played in the background. The screen went to static again. Suddenly, a distorted version of Scooter and me played in the background, followed by the voice saying, At last! The Jackson channel is mine! Ah, this song is terrible! Nobody likes this song, it sucks! The screen then went to static once more, followed by a random weird noise. Then it ended. I then started to get shaken by this. I decided to delete the video in my recycling bin. I never wanna see that video again. Jackson's supposed to stay home alone because his parents are gone and out. The good news is that me that I typed up this pasta. So when you get hacked, just try to bring it back. Or bad things happen. Well, I got to go now, but I'll see you soon. Goodbye.